Okay, I'm definitely seeing volume. <sighs> that is too much. But when I look at it, I think that it's so pretty. I don't know. I never make cocktails, but I'm like, if we're having a girls' night, we're gonna watch Love Island on the couch. video. We're doing a weekend vlog and I kind of wanted to start this one off. It is Friday today. As you've seen, I've already done laundry and a devotion and I just wanted today to be a very productive like start of the new year day, even though obviously it's well into January. But I had some chores that need to get done and I have some work things to get on. But on top of that, I wanna go through my closet and organize out some of my drawers because January always makes me wanna start out with a bang of being like, I love everything in my closet. My drawers don't make me feel cluttered and all over the place. And I think that that would just be such a good way to go into all of these next months. I don't know. I'm someone who loves organization and I feel like everyone can benefit from that. So I thought it would be fun to bring you guys along. I have a hair mask in my hair right now and I'm gonna do an everything shower. It kind of feels like that just goes, like an everything shower is so productive. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna do that. Then I wanted to do a blowout on my hair and then we're just gonna get into everything. So I'll show you that routine as well because I've been using my shark and I kind of love my blowout routine. I maybe wanted to add some like rollers because I feel like that helps me get volume. But without further ado, let's go to the everything shower. So right now the hair mask that I have in my hair is this one from Olaplex. I've been trying to do the Olaplex line because they have bonding in it, which is basically just very good for your hair molecules from what I understand. So I either do the Olaplex or Redken. Both are amazing. I haven't noticed too much of a difference between the two, so I think you can't go wrong. So I've let this sit in my hair for about an hour, and now I'm gonna wash it out using the Olaplex. I also need to shave my legs, exfoliate, do all of that good stuff. So, you know, it's about to be a while. everything shower done and honestly it didn't take me as long as i was thinking and i feel like this is weird but about a couple months ago i was losing way more hair than i thought was normal and i was just like you know everybody loses hair whatever and then now in the shower i only lose like just a little bit so i don't know too much of what i've been doing differently but obviously something wasn't working so i'm glad that i without knowing that I did, figure that out. We got a lot of products for after a full body shower. First up are the first aid ingrown hair pads. And I use this on my bikini line. These have helped so much with like getting rid of bumps. Also from first aid beauty, I have literally cleaned this out, but this is the ultra repair cream. I use this as my night moisturizer and then also all over my body. So I'm gonna try to scrape out the last little bits of this. But I always start with my face because then my hands are like the cleanest. So what I've been doing is a vitamin C and I love this one from Paula's Choice. It almost smells like a really tame version of... Why do I feel stuffed up? I need air. It's like kind of citrusy, but also vanilla, if that makes sense, but very light. Since I've started using this, that a lot of that uneven skin tone, like some of these things have lightened up. So I'm not asking any questions, I like that. And then this combo is so good. I've used Elta MD since I was on Accutane when I was 15 years old because my dermatologist recommended it. So I just feel like anytime my skin has a freak out, I go back to this because I know that it will not break me out. It's so great for sensitive skin and it's recommended by a dermatologist. So I don't know, you know those trustworthy products, that's one. Then I mix it with my Stay Super Gel. I either do my DeBronzy or this one. Either works really well, I just like to get kind of that like tan glow. And you can see even putting that on, I feel like it just looks so good on the skin. I like this combo when I'm not wearing makeup or under makeup or even if I'm just doing like a light amount, so 
whatever it always works then for hair it can switch up a lot but today i'm doing a blowout so i definitely want to make sure that i have a leave-in treatment i don't know if this has heat protectant in it but first i'm going to put in this leave-in treatment and this makes my hair so soft and it's so great for hair health so i just put that on the ends and then i honestly put it on those little fuzzes on top i think that's new hair growth but i just want to make sure that the top of my head stays healthy then i use the living proof triple bond complex this does have a heat protectant in it and i think it says it goes up to 450 degrees so that is great i want to put that like all over my hair it is wild since i've stopped bleaching my hair how much healthier it is and i have finer hair to begin with so i just feel like i try to be really cautious and 2024 feels like the year that I want to grow her out because I literally feel like my hair has been the same length for my entire life. Actually, I haven't used this in a while and it's blowout jelly, but the thing about having finer hair is that when you do styles on it in order to get volume, you have to put in some thicker products, which I feel like is a little scary just because you don't want it to be looking like weighed down. And speaking of that, I'm going to do a mousse. This was something I learned on TikTok, but I thought a mousse was just kind of when I did like a wavy routine, but it helps your hair to hold a curl so much better. That may have been too much. Maybe we'll just go for it. It helps your hair to hold a curl so much better because it kind of gives it that like sticky gritty feeling. And then when you brush through with the heated brush, it has so much more hold. Wait, I forgot. I just got this body butter from L'Occitane. This was another product that I saw so much on TikTok and I was like, okay, fine, I'll get it. It really does have such a nice smell. I think I'm gonna turn the camera off and just lather this all over my body. And now time for a blowout. How cute is this color shark? First, I just do a rough dry all over. Already with the mousse, it has so much volume. Then I'm gonna do with a round brush. I'm always torn if I want to use the round brush, if I want to use the round brush for the blowout or use the curlers. But I think we're going curlers. And I wanted to try a new method where you take the top of your hair and do that all kind of going back and putting hair rollers in it. So why not try it out? Okay, now that those rollers are done, I'm just going to do what curls all over. Okay, now I have this full side done, so I'm going to hairspray. And I'll kind of hairspray this top too. I'll switch the barrels. Basically what I'm doing when I do the curl is I feed it in and then I hold it for until it gets kind of hot on my head. I do the cool shock and I take it down. But I do feel like the mousse and the hairspray gives it that extra lift that it needs. And I'm hoping that these top pieces give me the volume on top that I'm looking for. So I'm just going to quickly do the other side and then I'll show you when I take it out. And last curl on this side. So I'm going to spray this again. I'm really hoping that these rollers came out cute. I guess let's start with taking out the back one. Ow. I really wanted to get better about using rollers because I think they add so much volume to your hair. The back ones I'm a little less worried about as opposed to the front piece is the most important. Okay, I'm definitely seeing volume. I also learned you're supposed to twist, twist, twist them out and then the last little piece you kind of pull for that fluffy end. Now I'm gonna hairspray upside down and texture spray and we'll see the final result. That is some tall hair. Okay. I think it made these front pieces like very cute and bouncy. They're kind of at an awkward stage right now where they're not curtain bangs, but they're not quite full length. And I do like the volume that those layers added. Okay, I love this. Now getting into what makes this video productive and it's going through my clothes. I've been dreading this and putting it off for so long, but I just can't. I'm not really someone to hold on to something for sentimental values and it's easy to get rid of stuff, but it's always like, oh, I could wear this for this occasion. I could wear this or like these jeans are cute, but they're uncomfortable. And I just feel like you give yourself space to get new things, space for a new year, all of that good stuff. First are t-shirts. I have a feeling I won't be getting rid of too many of these because a lot of them are from my friend's brands. 
like my beach club ones, they just have a special place in my heart. But then others could just go. This is a fave of mine. Most of my clothes I give to a woman's shelter or to Goodwill, but then some of the things that I've actually bought for myself, I'll sell on my detour. Like some of those nicer priced items when I do like a free people haul or something like that of items that I get for myself, then they can go to a new home. There is just something about keeping a ratty t-shirt though that hits different. Josh and I share this one. It's from Lexi's podcast. Okay, I'm gonna have to go quicker. Cue music. done and they already make me feel so much better but now we have the hard part and it is my closet <laughs> so how I organize my stuff is obviously like dresses and shirts hanging up but then I do like all my sweatshirts and sweatpants up top it's not the prettiest organization but it works here's the thing that's tough for me is I love my dresses like a free people dress this one is so gorgeous but I never reach for it and I feel like I don't feel my best in this. I don't know. So it's like stuff like that, that I never wear. But when I look at it, I think that it's so pretty. I don't know. I just don't know what to do. So I just keep them, but then they take up room in my closet and I don't wear them. So I'm trying to be a little bit more decisive. This is my favorite dress to ever exist. I've worn this twice and every time I love it. That's looking a lot better. I finally finished up with everything and I cannot deal. It looks so good. So this is one side of the closet. Everything is slightly color coordinated and I did all of my dresses here. As you can see from the top, I took down all of the sweatshirts and sweatpants. And then this side has more of my like blouse style tops or button ups or things like that. Then for the other side, I have all of my sweaters and they're color coordinated. Again, no sweatshirts up here. And here is where I put all of my sweatshirts and hoodies and all of that. It feels so good to have them all hanging up. I don't think my closet has ever been more organized than that and I am living for it. And then as you saw in all of my drawers, they're all organized, everything's been gone through and I can genuinely say that I love everything in there. I feel so happy. I just got off the phone with my manager and I got a really exciting call about doing something that I've never really done before, which is modeling. And I don't know how I feel about it, but I have to send over some like digitals. So I guess I have to take those now. I feel so funny even saying that because I've literally never done anything like that. The only photos I had as an example were some pictures I took from Greta's Beach Club shoot because it was like in a studio with a professional camera. So I guess I'm taking some on my own now. But yeah, I have to take a little break for that and it's getting kind of late in the day. So I think I'm gonna put off the bathroom one. I know, but I feel accomplished from this. It just took me way longer than I was expecting. I am finally done with shooting all of that. So now I need to sit down and edit, but I wanted to give an update on our living room because Josh and I just rearranged a couple of things. We got our frame TV mounted and like with the gold frame on it and then did a little bit of a different thing to our entertainment center. And this is what it looks like. I think it looks so good. Our entertainment center used to have little peg legs on it and we took those off because our TV just, there wasn't enough space to make it look natural. And then we moved our blue chair back to this. But I just think the frame TV looks so good. So now we have to figure out what to do with this empty space because I really don't like this bookshelf anymore and we don't have our chair there so it just feels like wasted space. That could be something very cute. <laughs> Now that I'm all done with work, I'm making dinner. 
and Josh is gone for the night, so I invited my friend Lauren over. I feel like I've been really good since the new year of making food at home, especially like November and December. I swear we were eating out so much. So I just really wanted to make an effort to make food at home. Tonight I'm doing like a version of a harvest bowl. So I did almond crusted chicken, which feels so fancy. And then rice, sweet potatoes, onions, greens, all of that. And then I'm gonna put it all in a bowl. I think it's gonna be literally amazing. So I'm gonna let everything cook in the oven, finish cleaning up, and then Lord will be here. Hello. <laughs> okay, wait, let's see. Oh, what'd you put I mean, in that? I put poppy, vodka, and this. I think it's like simple syrup and lemon. Oh, yeah. It tastes like, oh, it's not bad, actually. Like you love it. <laughs> <laughs> Something about this is grassy. Yeah. Like a like a herb. Lauren has a vision that jam is gonna make us a nice cocktail. I don't know, I just think it is. I never make cocktails, but I'm like, if we're having a girls' night, we're gonna watch Love Island on the couch. Watch, it's gonna go viral. I know jam yeah. cocktail. Blueberry jam cocktails. <laughs> I also have these. What's that? Cointreau. You can put a dash of it. Orange blueberry. Cause it's orange, right? Yeah, open it up. It's been just in there, chilling. Delicious. <laughs> One shot of Guantra. <laughs> oh, that really is cold. So pretty. Oh, I can't wait. Alright, taste test. Okay. Oh, really good? Well, we're gonna drink our drinks and eat our little harvest bowls yes. and watch Little Island. The perfect night. Perfect night. Good morning. It is the next morning and we realize it's been too long since we've washed our sheets. So obviously we have to start this morning with sheet washing. Don't throw stuff at me. No, a duvet cover sucks. Like, love it. But taking them off sucks. Oh my gosh, you're tired. This needs to be having a loud speaking to. No, by the time I finish this, the day's going to be over. If you can hear, Josh is vacuuming downstairs, but I finished up a lot of the chores that I was doing and Greta is almost here. We're going to be like getting stuff ready because we're celebrating, the vacuum is so loud. We're going to be getting some stuff ready because, hold on. We're going to be getting some stuff ready because we're celebrating our friend Lauren's birthday today and like going to a karaoke room and all of that. And then tomorrow we have our friend Alyssa's bridal shower or it's kind of just like a bridal brunch that we're doing. So a few things to gear up for. We're hanging up the birthday banner. I'm like, where would this hang? Yay. And I'm like, Lauren, come on out. <laughs> and they look so wild, but I feel like I wanted to let them like cool down before I brushed them out. I never know if I should like finger comb my hair or brush it. I'm always for a finger comb. I'm terrified of a brush. I was gonna do a blowout, but I kind of feel like if I'm sweaty, I want the curls to stay. Yeah. The first 20 minutes is pure. The volume is amazing. Gorgeous. And then it's done so for me. Okay, so cute. Oh, yeah. Texture spray, always. Check. All ready to go. Oh, yeah. Birthday queen. Yes. Birthday queen. Go, Lauren. It's your birthday. We're going to party like it's your birthday. Take it for me, Good morning. I'm so tired this morning because we didn't go to bed until 3 a.m. last night. We did karaoke, which was just so much fun. And then we went to dinner. And after that, we went to this place that was a Christmas bar, even though it's like 
middle to end of January and they played the best music. Like we were just having so much fun and my feet were killing me, but it was a lot of fun. Now I'm quickly getting ready because we're doing like a kind of bridal shower for Alyssa. She had her bridal shower over Thanksgiving and a lot of us were out of town. So we wanted to do like a cute little brunch, do cute little gifts, all of that stuff. So I don't know what I'm gonna wear because it's actually pretty cold outside. I think it's like 50. And of course to any type of like bridal shower thing, I love doing a little dress moment but I'm gonna be so cold in that, so I don't know. I'm gonna try to finish up my makeup really quick and then pick out the outfit. I'm literally always ready before Greta. Sorry. I know. I do wanna go make Alyssa and I coffee, so I guess I can leave you to comfortably do your makeup. Hmm, what can you make me? Do you want a spearmint tea? Maybe. Okay, I, I don't know, tea. I never, I usually don't have tea in the morning. But... I know, it seems different for you. Well, I can do a tea or an amino lean. Maybe amino lean in a glass. In a glass. <laughs> True. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that's what I want. We're getting ready for the bridal shower. I keep calling it a bridal shower. I know, it's, bridal it's brunch. Bridal brunch. We're getting yeah. ready for the bridal brunch. And we were just talking about how it's so awful putting makeup over your face when it feels so crusty. And just like after you did a full glam last night. I still have glitter, I think, yeah. shoved into my eye crevices. So then putting my inner corner highlight on, I'm like, why is this scratching me? <laughs> so that's always fun. Do you have you tried dibs? I think you would love it. I haven't, and I really want to. I especially love as like this gives me such summer vibes. To yeah. Have something that is like yeah. a blush and bronzer. It does seem like my chill makeup, like when I'm like not like obviously I'm still I'm doing my full makeup today, but it just seems like chill. Yeah. And it's just like easy to put on and I really like it. As we always say, we get our best recommendations from our friends. Yeah. So it just keeps cycling. Time to go make a little drink. Flowers are beautiful. It's baby like time. Coda yeah. Bear. So baby. It's cold here. Ooh. What is the degrees? Fifties? Fifties. This is here. Uh, Sandals. No, my legs are gonna my leg is gonna grow a foot back because I'm it's freezing and shivering. Freezing. Um, we just finished up with Alyssa's little bridal brunch. It was so precious. We basically just hung out, played a little bit of games, did all and that fun stuff. Played with the babies. And yeah, the babies got to have precious, a lot of good little time. baby time. Now we're going to bring Alyssa back. It's kind of the ending of our weekend, but we'll see where the day takes us. It might this, take me home. This cold, cold day. There was not a text sent about what to wear. No. I'm in a dress, she's in jeans, you're in sweats. Yep. Josh fuzzy go. Josh Well, the weekend is ending and my girls, my out of town friends are leaving. I think the next time I see Alyssa, it will be at her wedding as a married True. woman. True. That's iconic. That is really iconic. Entering the white era.